What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video and what we're basically going to be talking about today is a, re a, a clan recap if you will. It has been a while since I've done one of the clan updates, uh, one of the clan update videos and I think now is a perfect time. Uh, considering our CWL season has come to an end where we did take a loss last weekend. We were eliminated in the opening round of the playoffs. And it's going to be coming later, but... And we are watching, real quick, we are watching some attacks from the war that just wrapped up. We had a random match against Six Schlitzes uh, where they did beat us 110 to 113. Um, so shout out to them. They played a very, very good war. But as you guys know, it seems as always, uh, midweeks were always getting disadvantages. Um, I mean, they did have an extra Town Hall 11. We had one extra Town Hall 10. But regardless, it was a very good war. But that's not what this video is about. Not even close. Um, I just want to let the clan know. Just speaking to the clan real quick. I just want to say thank you to all you guys, everyone who has been here from the beginning. As for those of you that might be new to the channel watching this, we created Forge from Steel. Uh, it was basically just a dream, just an idea back in January of 2017, where we wanted to create our own clan, put something, put something together, not know if we were just going to be spinning farm wars, if we were going to be, a, a, be competitive enough. We didn't even have a form of recruitment. It was just a handful of us. And if you watch the very, very first video that I put out, you don't have to scroll down that far, but in that first video, this clan completely blew up. We had all kinds of love and support across the war community. There, there were quite, I mean, there were some people, uh, definitely not the vast majority, but there were some that were saying that, you know, it's too late that you cannot create a war clan, especially this day and age, as far as the game's concerned, because we already have a CWL. If, if, if you're trying to be in the war community, the only way you're going to have a name is if you're in the CWL in some form uh, of other, or at least be respected in that sense. So we knew that the, that the task, we had a huge task in front of us uh, with a lot of challenges and we overcame them. And not only did you know we just wrap up our inaugural or our our debut season in the CWL but just the fact that we created a clan literally from nothing you know for those of you watching this that are not in FFS ask yourself or just look around and you're in the clan that you're in and the question I have for you is were you in that clan when it first started you know were 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 you there you know from war 1 and there's a lot of people in this clan that can say that they were around. Again, it's only been since January, but we had a group of guys who had a dream that wanted to bring, you know, a new flavor to the war, to the war scene, if you will. And we did it. We made it to the CWL. You know, we got, or we got accepted into the CWL and we made it into the playoffs. And the challenges even before that were, you know, just first of all, getting enough guys to spin a war. I think our first war, we spun a 15 verse uh, 15 war. Uh, I believe that was our very, very first war, war one that we spun. And again, a lot of the guys who were in that war are still in the clan today, which is absolutely amazing. And I mean, creating a, not only a discord server that started from nothing. I think we have like four or five bots in our Discord server. We have, you know, a lot of visitors, a lot of guys have a lot of fun in there. We got all kinds of stuff on there. And creating a recruitment uh, server, teaming up with Clintonimo Bay, who just took down one hive. As many said, they were going to be losing that war as well when they did not. Um, creating a YouTube channel that, in, in my humble opinion, has become very, very successful I mean, we have over 700 subscribers now. We just did a big giveaway not too long ago. And, you know, we're getting new subs every single day. Uh, successful Twitter with, I believe, over 600 followers. Uh, that's at F F or that's at FFS COC. Uh, go ahead and uh, follow us on Twitter for everything going down in the clan updates and things like that. And more importantly, even expanding, we got to the point to where FFS got, where we were so stacked, where we were, we had so many people in the clan, 
you know, we were 50 out of 50 and we'd have five or six guys who weren't even in the clan, uh, basically rotating people around, things like that, where we were more or less, uh, had to come to a decision where we had to make a, another clan, which is FML. That's an acronym for from, uh, from Molten Lava. Maybe you've heard of them. Uh, they just made it to the final uh, war, the championship war in the U.S. Cup Finals. They did not win, but I believe they had to defeat something like, I think, six or eight clans to get there. But they made it to the championship round in the U.S. Cup. And... There right now, they are also in the MLCW. Uh, they did survive the opening round in MLCW. They took down Edmonton Cold. So their journey has still continued, uh, continued as far as competitive play. So just all kinds of stuff going on. It, it's just insane. And again, this is a lot different from a lot of the vi uh, other videos that I make, but you know, it's just a big thank you to everyone who has been a part of this clan who wanted to take on this challenge when Minnie said it could not be done. And it did. It happened. You know, we're here. We've more or less even become, as far as the war community is concerned, uh, uh, you know, a household name. As far, you know, a lot of people have heard of FFS. What, now, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, you know, we're out there. People know about us. And it's, it, again, I can't express enough. It started from nothing, guys. I, I believe we started with about eight guys, six or eight guys, uh, which is going to be coming up next. And you guys already know if you've watched any of my videos, all I do is give out shout outs. And I, I do want to start with our leadership team, which truly is the foundation of the clan. And these leaders have, uh, or a, lot, a few of the leaders that I'm going to be mentioning have been there again from day one. Uh, we'll just start from the top, starting off with Captain Crunch. Um, maybe a many, uh, many of you guys have heard of him. Um, Crunch, I cannot thank you enough for what you bring to the team, not only with, you know, your Town Hall 11 base building skills, uh, your hit ups on your Town Hall 10, and just the, he, the level headed guy in the clan who we can always count on to, to make level headed decisions. Um, you know, when, when, you know, so, you know, something pops up, he's always someone we can kind of turn to and ask him, you know, for his help, for his support. And he's always been there. He has never, ever given up on FFS, uh, through the ups and downs. And there has been a lot of downs through this journey. He has never faulted and he has always been there. And same thing with poor self-control, AKA PSC, AKA Chris. I think, I think I'm the only one who actually calls him Chris, but PSE, I cannot thank you enough, bro. You have become one of my closest friends. Uh, not only, you know, do we talk about Clash, but, you know, inside and outside of uh, Clash of Clans, you know, it's someone who I've always been able to talk to pretty much about anything. Uh, and he really has become a very close friend. I have nothing but love and respect for the guy. And he's always been there and he has also never faulted and is just one of the best clan mates you could ever have in a clan, bar none. Uh, big shout out to Maza, uh, Maza Soccer. Uh, he was with us. We met him. Uh, a lot of the, these names I'll, I'll be going over were actually with us, or I've actually known for probably three years, um, you know, two plus years back in One Hive Genesis. Maza, we actually met over in Midwinters. And in case any Midwinters guys are watching, we did not poach him. He came over here on his own. To our surprise, we didn't even know. Uh, we kind of had this thing going. He popped up in our, our Discord, uh, Discord server. Uh, he, <clears throat> he got the invite, popped up. Next thing you know, he applied in game and we had no idea that he was going to be joining. And just recently, I'd say in the last maybe month, uh, he joined the leadership team. And again, not only with his Town Hall 9 base building skills, uh, but just someone who's always on voice, someone you can always plan with, someone who you can always get good advice. Uh, you know, when you're looking at a base, you're struggling, he has one of the highest hit rates, uh, of all of our town hall nines in the clan and just an amazing guy, big heart, great dad, uh, big shout out to Maza. Cannot thank you enough for what you bring to this team. And same thing with Ray. I haven't known him the longest. He's, he's been in LT for a few months now, came over from JTJ2 and a, a, a few other guys who also helped kickstart FML. So I cannot thank you enough. I would say he's more or less kind of like the class clown, which is a good thing. Don't, don't be laughing, but it's class clown in the sense that 
no matter what the situation is, he can always make you laugh. You know, he can always tell a joke and put a smile on your face. And it's just, he always has that positive energy. Uh, when you're feeling down, he can always pick you up just like that. And our newest addition in the leadership team being Jacob. I'm sure you guys have seen all of his uh, Town Hall 10 three stars in the various CWO recaps uh, that I cover. Uh, cannot thank him enough for his base building skills, uh, his war planning. Anytime someone has a question on a 10v11 attack, uh, and most more specifically a 10v10 attack, uh, when someone's struggling with a base, always someone you can count on. Again, someone who's also level-headed. I'm so glad he decided and accepted our offer to join our leadership team. Very excited for the future with this guy. Uh, originally coming from One Hive 2.0, and he has brought... He, he, he really set off um, FFS. Um, when he joined and when he brought his experience here. Cannot thank him enough. I want to give a big shout out to all of the Sons of Anarchy guys. I hope I'm not missing anyone. And I know there's a lot of them in FML, but I've just been so focused on FFS, especially during the CWL. Um, but I know there's a lot of, but I am going to be covering the guys in FFS that have come over from Sons of Anarchy. Uh, a Big, big shout out to Rio, one of the most active guys on voice. Not only does he plan every single one of his attacks on voice, he, he'll just, even if, even after his attacks, he stays on and he's just hanging out and helping everybody, everybody else do their attacks as well. So cannot thank him enough for what he brings to the team on his nine and on his town hall 11. Big shout out to Rex, um, aka uh, Virgo and Sugi. Uh, cannot thank you enough. NECA and Raven, they really have stepped up our Town Hall 9 game. These guys are six-packing left and right. And uh, just shout out to Sons of Anarchy. I know that you guys, uh, your, that your guys' original clan had disbanded. And I'm glad you guys are able to now call FFS your home. And I'm so glad you guys came over and joined. Cannot thank you enough. And what I really want to get into, uh, again, I'm just giving shout outs. This is just what I do on, on this channel. If you guys have seen these videos, all of the OG, uh, one hive Genesis guys, these are the guys that pretty much got me into the game when I was in alpha. And then later when I went to, uh, Genesis and just basically the Algen family in general, uh, I cannot thank you guys enough. And it's, it really is amazing that this game, the, the, the people you meet, I mean, from across the world, uh, different cultures, different personalities, um, just, you know, it, it's just, it's just crazy. And the, the fact that our group of guys has stuck around with each other, these relationships that you build again, not only in the United States, but literally across the world, um, and just the relationships that you build. And, and that's where some people say it does become, you know, more than a game. A lot of people play this game because of the camaraderie, because of the social aspect. You know, it's not just, you know, you're doing your two attacks and then you're turning the game off. It's the personalities. And I want to give a big shout out to Gooves. I, I really can't say enough. Just watch any of uh, the other videos. Can't say enough about Gooves. I mean, you've probably seen one of his attacks in literally every single war recap or attack strategy video that I've done. Uh, not only is he a personal friend, but just an amazing uh, clan mate. And although if you do, if, you, if you're... If you're having trouble sleeping, get on voice with Gooves. He will put you right to sleep. <laughs> but, uh, but no, all jokes aside, uh, can't say enough about the guy. Uh, he just really has become a great de uh, dear friend of mine. Uh, Groovy Tony, you guys already know. Uh, whenever I need a Town Hall 10 base, I sl slide in the DMs. Bam, pops out a fresh base built by Groovy Tony. Cannot say enough uh, what you've done. And I do consider you one of my closest friends. Richie. And Ash, your guys' base building uh, that you guys bring to this clan. And but again, aside from just the Clash stuff, uh, you guys are always people that I can talk to. People that I've known where I can literally say for years. And it all started off... Um, you know, back in Gen, back where we first started off and look at where we are now. It really is amazing. I'm glad you guys are still a part of this in our, in our click that we've created. Uh, Nasty Nate, three star, uh, Ozil, Paul, Rahat, 
uh, cannot say enough about you four guys. Uh, again, people that I've known for a very long time and that we've stuck together and have just continued clashing, you know, jumping on voice, you know, base building, planning, bullshitting, all that good stuff. So, and these are people I've known for a very, very long time. And we have met a lot of new faces along the way as well. Um, you know, these are just the guys that, or I shouldn't say just the guys, but these are the guys that really helped build the foundation of Fortune Steel and kind of gotten where we are today. And without, and we, we couldn't have done it without the help of a lot of new people that we've met on the way, you know, like Blazing Mist, Hulk, uh, big shout out to Scarface, Kong, Rodney, again, a lot of people that, um, we just kind of met along the way that just started off in the recruitment server, uh, starting off and summer never came and just kind of working their way through the system and wanting to call forge from steel their home or just, just basically the forge, uh, you know, the forge by the Bay family, you know, Clinton Bay as well. Uh, big shout out to all of you guys, you know, doing the friendly wars on Thursdays, uh, every Thursday before our CWO matches, uh, jumping on voice, you know, cannot say enough, you know, Teaming up with them really has stepped up, I believe, not only their game, but our game as well. And, you know, anytime we have questions, uh, we, you know, it's just a mutual relationship. When they have questions, we have questions, we get together, we hash it out. Uh, leadership, you know, discussions, things with recruitment. It's just, it. I hope you guys can feel what I'm saying. It's just crazy what this has become in such a short amount of time. And for those of you wondering, we do not know what league we're going to be in. I, I can say for, pr in all certainty, we are going to be coming back uh, to the CWL. Um, we, we definitely are going to be coming back to the CWL. But as far as, as far as what league we're going to be in, that I do not know. I don't know if we're going to be doing Premiere again. I don't know if we're going to be moving up to Invite, what the breakdowns are going to look like, how the basement is going to be changing, uh, you know, with this update. It's all over YouTube. I'm sure you guys have already seen it. Uh, you know, what's going to be happening as far as the war scene and just the trickle-down effect it's going to have as far as Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and Town Hall 11 will change as far as wars go. Uh, but it, at any rate, I don't know what league we're going to be in. But as soon as I find out and as soon as we get accepted, I'll definitely be announcing it for everyone because I, I do have a very unique opportunity having a YouTube channel and it's just really, really crazy how everything has gone down. I've probably said it 50 times and it could not have been done or none of this could have been made possible without the help of all the individuals that I've mentioned on my list here. And for if, if I forgot anybody, I'm sorry, <laughs> but everyone in the clan, you guys know who you are. Big shout out to everyone in Forge from Steel, from Molten Lava, Clantonimo Bay. I cannot say enough, um, you know, how much it means to me what we've been able to create in such a short amount of time when there were a lot of people saying that it could not be done and we not only proved that it could, but we were a success story, finishing second seed, in the regular season, finishing at nine and two, it, it, it's just incredible. And I'm very humbled by this experience and that it is going to be continuing and it could not have been made possible without the help of all you guys. And, you know, I just want to say, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys. You know who you are and we're just going to keep moving forward. There is, you know, we've, we've developed ourselves you know, establish ourselves as a clan, there is still a lot, and I mean a lot, that we have to improve on, uh, top to bottom, left to right, but we are willing to do it. We are, we've accepted the challenge, especially getting involved in the war community and how competitive it is. We are, I mean, we're facing clans, guys, that have basically been around since clan wars. I mean, some of these clans, uh, I mean, we're, we're talking... They have, uh, you know, 300, 400 plus wins uh, that we're going up against. So the clan is new, but we do have a lot of experience here. We've learned a lot and there still is a lot to learn. And again, 
there's there's nothing else that I can say except thank you for being a part of the team and being willing to accept the challenge and continue the journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That Basically, this post-CWL um, clan recap video, if you will, uh, clan update. Again, it has been a while since I've made one of these, so I definitely wanted to get one out. And we are very optimistic and, and very much looking forward to the future in the FFS family. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.